Where are my little feet taking me to? One of my favorite plant nurseries, plant and seed nursery. It's time to come after a good four months I haven't been here. So I've been out traveling like some of you guys know and uh, I haven't been able to come yet. I came back two months, two weeks ago from my trip. And we start off the bat with some beautiful, um, well, yeah, I think these are the Yadii that's not variegated. They are humongous. So $39.99. We have a huge little Australia's Lisa over there. Oops. <laughs> Let's see right over here. This is uh, Australia's Lisa right over here. And this one is $19.99. Look at it. How happy it is, like following the light and just wrapping its way up. Very nice. Hmm. This fool here plants. I'm having issues walking down the aisle here. And um Oyalini Aris. Sorry about my voice, guys. I've been like getting over some. I got back and I was sick, so I mean, I have a little bit of drainage still going on. This is $39.99. It's a Hoya Linearis. First time I have, I see a Hoya Linearis here at Planty Nursery. <clears throat> and there's a lot of Hoyas. Hoya oh, Kuyana Black. This one here. Oh. This one is Big Basket. And how much do they want for this one? Okay, let me see if I find it up here. Oh, $39.99. That's a great price for a big basket of Hoya Koreana. Koreana. There's some smaller ones over here. These are $24.99. That's so much fun. My Hoya Koreana. I have one. Mine's a silver one though. And um, I gotta show you. The mother plant basically is dead but the propagations are alive. <clears throat> and look at these Australia's Lisa. Not Lisa, just Australis, because the Hoya Australis, just look at the leaves, they're round-ish, and they're just green. The Lisa has a variegation. Just in case you want to learn that, if you didn't know that, $24.99. Now this Hoya is gorgeous. Where are you? Hoya Parasite. Parasitica Black Margin $24.99. This is the first time I see this one here. Gorgeous. You see the little dimplings? <clears throat> it reminds me of the Macriana. No, but it's it's different. But yeah, a little. This one's just a little bit even longer. The leaves in these. I've always loved this one. <laughs> but this one's really, really nice too. <clears throat> now this one says here it's a Hoya Coriana speckled. What? Really? Hmm, $24.99, but I don't know, something's off there. Because the Coriana usually looks like these leaves, small. So I wouldn't have thought this is called the Croyana. So there's other pots here. Let's see if it also has the same name. It also has the same name. Hoya Croyana Speckled. You know, I had been looking at this one. They've had it before. And I love the pink speckling. Look at this. Pink speckling. Gorgeousness. And I almost thought like I had it at home. But mine does not have the pink speckling. So this is a gorgeous plant and I'm sure it's a very, very fast grower and easy to take care of. Look at this one pot. This is crazy gorgeous. This is $24.99. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Wow, fun, fun, fun. Let's see, what other little goodies do we have here? Okay, this one's the Hoya. Okay, this there's something off here. This is what I'm talking about. This one says Hoya Coriana speckled. Okay, you see the leaves. This is what I know is the Hoya Coriana speckled. But this one right over here says Hoya Coriana speckled. It's 
So no, that one I don't think is Korean speckle. This one de definitely is. But it's okay. Whatever she is over there, she is gorgeous. Um, we have the Cortusia here. We have the variegated Hindu rope, guys. $24.99. Gorgeous plant, but high risk of mealy bugs. By the way, you know, also, I've had some of you guys comment in the comments that, and I've experienced this a lot too, that Hoyas, oh the one pest they usually get, they have a high chance of getting is the mealy bugs. So, if you're new in this game, it's going to look like a white little fuzzy little insect, which there's one right here. How funny, speaking of which, that's a mealy bug. Now, it happens a lot. So when you buy a plant, make sure it doesn't have this. Try to find one that does not have this. Um, this is very rare to see it, and I'm sure they're going to pull it. And if I told them they would pull it right now, because they do very good at moving the plants if they find any pests and treating them before they sell them most of the pl plants here never i never see pests so this is a very very not normal but it's normal it can happen at any point with plants but um if you have that it's important that you clean out the leaves i do alcohol with a little q-tip and i clean it out and then i spray it with something that's against mealy bugs i use a lot of dr bonners so let's go right over here Let's go right over here. Gorgeous little pots. Look at those. How cute is that? Okay. And uh, wanted to see here. Yes. Hoya Koreanas Eskimo. So this is just a little bit different. This one has Hoya Koreana Eskimo, but this one's silver. So how much are how much are they going now for today? $24.99 guys this is prices have come down which is great because they were very very expensive for s during the pandemic here in the United States plant prices went up really really high and I was during that time too that I wanted to have plants but they were so expensive um, and I did buy at a lot more expensive prices than what they're available now but um, I'm glad they're coming down to a more reasonable prices um, check out these little beautiful pink panther Kalisa ribbons. How gorgeous is that little pink little bush like that? You put a nice little pot in your coffee table and wha bam People are going to be saying that is so cute Okay, so where else do I take you guys? I'll take you where my eyes take me in this beautiful green jungle Famous watermelon peperomia everybody gotta try it at least once I would say <laughs> I do not have it in my collection because it died um, it was not easy peperomias I've learned to just watch see them from far <laughs> I do have this one um, this is the Pallia Um I call it also the Chinese money plant and then there's some of these. I lo love these peperomias with these colors. Look at these colors in pink, reddish, oranges. So this is a peperomia quito, and these are $6.99. And then these, the peperomia raisinette, kind of like a raisin color. Look at that, it looks like a raisin. Those are also $6.99. We have alocasias back here, the, the peperomia hope. They don't have this one all the time here, so. This is cool, $6.99, I really like this one. I do have this one. And we have some allocations. Allocations are looking at, this is a dragon scale and it's $19.99. Definitely has come down in price. I think I paid like $40 for a little one last year. So, that's really, really cool. Okay, Ficus Altissima Yellow Gem. That's that one in the back. This one might, this one looks a little different. Yellow gem. This is the, the yellow gem, which is new. The Altissima, like this, I'm used to, but I'm not used to this one. It looks a little bit more yellow in color. I think it's a new shipment there. I love ficuses. Um, this one here, the Burgundy Rubber Tree, I had it and I gave it away, and I regret it. 
I wish I had more spark kisses. Um, okay, my eyes are glancing as I see cuteness. Let's go right over there. Okay, what's new in the succulent section? A pickle plant, $6.99. Soft and fussy. <laughs> very cute. I did not know him very much. New little plant for me to actually see in person, although I know it's pretty common. Okay, ooh, they have some soil now. Grow happy plants, $19.99. Cactus and perlite soil. If you guys see my channel, and maybe I need to show it more in my channel how much I love um, cacti. More than succulents. I'm more in love with cacti than succulents. Because look at this. How can you not love this fluffy little hairy man? Uh, cacti. I love as well a string of hearts. Love, love. This is one of my first plants that made my heart beat really fast. $9.99. And we have lots of beautiful string of, look at these string of turtles. They're so lush. Let me show you one. Oh, look at this. Gorgeousness. Okay, and these are, how much are you guys? I think they just got them. They don't have a price on them. So pretty. Love. Love. I do have a video on, on how to take care of the peperomas I do have. Okay? I'm going to try to link it. $14.99 peperomia. I hope. And if you love staghorn fern or you don't know what a staghorn fern. You want to know and see what a fern can grow up to look like. Check this scene right here. This staghorn fern has a, it's growing attached to this tree. So it's gorgeous to see it growing in its where its natural habitat where it would love to grow. And it is gorgeous. And by the way, it is one of my favorite ferns. I do have this a staghorn fern and I am in love with it. I'm surprised how much I'm enjoying it and loving it. It wants to stay moist. You don't let it dry out. Because if you do, notice that this part here dries out quickly. Uh, so, back to stay moist. Snake plant section here, which is always a beautiful area where you have these plants of just such statement pieces. Like this um, moonshine, moonshine, I think it's called. Um, $12.99, sense of area right there. Wellfins, they do have. This one's so cute. They have wellfins here, $39.99. Okay, let's head on to the other sections. Well, here we are in the rare plant section. Look! A pink princess. A pink princess. Is there a price? It is $74.99. $74.99 for this pink princess. And then right over here we have a $59.99 a painted lady. I love philodendrons. And this one, what are you? Nice long leaves, philodendron, no variegation, philodendron, Jose Bueno. What? They have Jose Bueno, $74.99. Although I thought Jose Bueno, oh, there is variegation, but minimal. Okay, okay. Monstera, still to be cut, $24.99. And now you splendid. No, it's Milana Crossum. Mil Milano Crossum. Uh, $64.99. Okay, let's check out these little cuties. Look at those cuties. Not for beginners from what I hear. I hear they're, they're fitting plants. Um, and then we have a lot of gorgeous Syngonia. Syngonia confetti in $19.99. See, let's talk about this. Syngonia confetti versus uh, Syngonia milk confetti. Okay, guys, this has been a big big one that i've researched a lot because i ended up buying one and i wasn't sure what it was so from all the research that i did the com the confetti usually is more less expensive than the milk confetti 
this is a regular confetti not milk so that means it has this green little borders on the edges the milk confetti you should it does not have the green borders it's more of a solid ends just with a solid light, little light color and unfortunately I had a I had that one and uh, it's struggling after my trip so this one here what is this does this have a name this is gorgeous look at that pink with green Hmm. I don't see a name, but that's gorgeous. And this is the pink splash syngonium. This one was very popular a few years ago. And um, it was supposed to, usually there's some that are more splashy. And those are the ones that became very famous on Instagram. Look at this beautiful anthurium. It's a luxuriance mixed with radicans and gorgeous leaves. The price was $34.99. I don't think it was bad for the size. Now this is a Ficus Chiviriana. Look at those colors, pink, white, green, only $19.99. I think that's a great price for such a unique, beautiful Ficus. They had this variegated string of pearls and it was a nice full hanging basket for I think it was just $9.99, not bad. They also had the beautiful variegated string of hearts that I love so much. So I'm home and this is my string of hearts. Isn't it? It's it's actually, I'm very proud of it. It's not like the hugest thing, but if you knew how small this thing was when I bought it, I bought it for, just so you'll know, about two years ago. And I maybe got it with like this amount of hearts in a little tiny two inch pot. <laughs> this or less, maybe like four or five hearts in a two inch pot. And I slowly have been growing it into a, into more <laughs> so basically um i've put it in a bigger pot and like right now i need to go ahead and get some strings and put it here on the top and maybe put some little pins so it can actually uh stay close to the to the soil and it can root and show grow new little stems like this so i actually left it for three months so it got a little lanky while i was gone but as i've been back from spain you see all the green little hearts? Those are the new growth since I got back. The purple ones is the ones that I had before. They were my front porch getting full direct sun, so that's why it got so pink. But the fresh new little hearts, this is how they are when they have not been sun stressed. They're kind of more of a green and a cream color. But I think it's so cute to see right now the contrast of the purple ones and then the green fresh ones. But it's growing a lot of new hearts. We are in... I've been back for a month from mid-December to now mid-January and still growing new hearts and new little shoots and stems now in December. What do you guys think about this? I'm so excited. I just posted on my Instagram reel how I, I bought these from Walmart and I'll be doing, I'll be posting a video of what Walmart sells to help you dec decorate your house with houseplants. They have a lot of beautiful pots and, and have a lot of decor ideas. They have a lot of legged um plant pots but this has been better for homes and garden and i got it in clearance um last year i found some for like six dollars the original price was around 13 dollars, and then i found some in clearance so i bought the second one and i had i just bought some little hooks like this so basically i just put a little hook there and then the macrame and the wood part came from the whole set from better homes and garden and see, now I found a little spot. This usually was outside in my front porch, but now that it's winter, I had to find a spot for it here inside my house. So yes, as you can see, I'm here working with a little string. Of, the little strings get tangled sometimes, <laughs> and I had not dedicated time to untangle it, but um, it can be done while you're watching a movie, you know, or something, have it in the background. <laughs> a movie that's not that entertaining or audible, audible book, um, whatever you like to do. But anyways, um, just wanted to show you, um, I think they were around $10 there at Plant and See. Prices have come down. I paid $50 for this baby when she was tiny, but it's beautiful to see her grow. I love string of hearts. While you're over here with me, uh, let me just show you. This one's also from Plant and See Nursery. It's one that had a little bit of variegation. I think this was like the leaf when we bought it, that we spotted some variegation, something like this. And see, eventually it's given more leaves. Some did not have variegation. And then we started getting a little bit of variegation, a little more variegation. 
Look at this, you can see it against the light. There's like inner variegation right there, right? And then look at the, the last leaf. It's been winter and it hasn't been giving more leaves. Um, it's So I need to clean the leaves, they're really dusty. I almost leave over my whole, it's not been dusted in over six months, so that's not good. It's not gonna help it grow. <laughs> so, but yes, I don't dust them all the time. It's a lot of plants, but it's part of my projects when I get inspired. I need to go to um, Lowe's and get like a wooden plank so I can give it something to kind of grow against because it has these area roots and it would help it and it would help shape the way it grows. So I need to, that's on my to-do list. And um, also talking about spring. Oh, this one, I know I did. <sighs> Some Walmarts are getting the Monstera Albo Stanleyana, which is something like this and it has the white variegations. This one, I bought it at Plant C Nursery, the nursery I just gave you a tour about. And um, I paid around $50 maybe for it, 50 to 60. Um, but it was really, really full. Like lots of, lo lots of little plants in there. And uh, she has been growing and I had not shown it to for you guys in a long time. So I wanted to go ahead and show, show it to her to you. I went ahead and watered her. Um, I had to cut some of the leaves that had the most white, like all variation. A lot of times it can get browning. Um, so I cut some of the browning off of some of the leaves. So there is variegation. Um, not highly variegated, but I'm happily, it's happily variegated. I could definitely prop. She's, she is growing. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit one of my favorite nurseries that's local to me. If you guys don't live in this area, I encourage you to just find a nursery near you. I just Googled it. When I, I started getting into plants, what nurseries there was near my, me, and I just started visiting some until I landed one that I felt was one that had good prices and a, a lot of the plants that I was looking for. So if it's not that, maybe you guys can find some other plants in some local um, um, house sales or maybe also the big box stores, which is where I share a lot of videos of one of my plants that I find in big box stores. And there'll be a lot more of that coming up. So if you like learning about plant house plants and how to take care of them, how to decorate your house with them, um, where to find good prices, then don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. You enjoy your time with your plants and your family and friends. Bye.